So, let's see. I had an exciting afternoon. Yes, well, I did. A little too exciting, maybe. Um, over at the feeding station. Oh, you're so cute. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Just to be, because I don't want to risk anything over here. Even though I have disinfected myself thoroughly, it's still, I'm still trying to be extra careful. <laughs> oh, Otto, do you have something to say? Otto reminds me of Toto. How Remember how Toto used to wake up and um, if he did not immediately get snuggles, he was outraged? That's what Otto is doing. There you go. Oh my goodness, you look so big. When did you get so big? So big and old. <laughs> I'm just, just getting your hair. Come up here and let me get it. Um, there we go. Perfect. Little mama. Oh, oh my goodness. So, let's see. So I was feeding cats. So, for anyone who doesn't know, um, we are doing a TNR project, a pilot program um, uh, with a feral cat colony of uh, around 200 cats. Um, and you can find out more about it at tinykitten.com slash cats. Um, so part of that is Staying and neutering them so they don't continue to multiply, and then part of that is um, running a feeding station, and um, also we've taken in lots and lots of kittens, <laughs> lots of kittens, like the ones on the Sloney cam, on the other uh, cam here. Um, but anyway, so I was there feeding today. And um, one of the neighbors had found a kitten, and it was around two weeks old. And oh, look at you! I need to take your picture while I talk. And it was—it's not a well. Anyway, I'm not going to give you all the details, but um, they went to Mountain View, so I'm waiting to hear. You need to hear how that turned out, but they had offered to bottle feed, to take him back and bottle feed and all that stuff, which is great because we don't have any space at laps right now. But it was whew, one of those things. One of those things that's not very pleasant, but hopefully not anything uh, fatal. He seemed, he seemed pretty strong, but, oh my goodness, you just bit your sister right on her belly, right on her belly. Anyway, um, so I'll keep you posted on that, but it was just like a very crazy situation. Oh my goodness. Wow, uh, Becky just sent me a picture of some diarrhea.
Captain Mama. You're so cute. So we were having issues with the internet earlier today, but uh, everything seems to be resolved over here. Look at you, are you brave and you're climbing so tall like a big boy? Look at all of you, so scampy. They're so scampy. I can't believe how, how much they've grown up in the last few days. This one's really cute. This one is really cute. Easy. Look, I can't. Where can I put her that you can? Everyone can see her. Oh, I think they have adjusted the camera, haven't they? That's better. Easy. Hi, Cyrus. So three weeks. old, we need to do socialization exercises. Oh, his eye looks really good. He still has another day of eye drops, and then he will be good to go. Ooh, he's on to me. He's on to me. So Quark, uh, oh, so if you um, go to facebook.com slash people for happier cats, you can see an adorable video. Um, our, our, um, trail camera, the camera that we use to monitor the feeding station and take pictures of the cats, um, died. And so I was taking it off of the tree and um, Piper and Quark were attacking the strap, which was super cute. Um, so I posted a video of it. And... Hi, Cyrus. And what else? Um, so Quark had her babies, I think it was May 3rd, uh, so they would be about a little over two weeks. Um, she, I don't know, She's she spent a lot of time at the feeding station today and did not seem concerned about returning to a nest. I don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't know, I, yeah, I don't know, she didn't, she doesn't look like she's got a lot of milk going on, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on, and unfortunately, well, we will probably never know, um, but we will still give her a couple more weeks, and, um, then uh, spay her once, if, if, if she does have any surviving babies, um, we will wait until they're old enough to survive on their own, and then we will spay Miss Quark. Um, what else? You're so cute, Cyrus. You're a good boy. Cyrus is, I'm doing his little exercises and he's, he's such a good boy. He's not even, hardly even squeaking. And I'm wearing gloves, which probably smell and feel funny. But he's got some crusty in your nose that I'm trying to get out. Yes, good boy. Um, so Eve, I was just going to check out her, she's looking okay down there. I think, um, these guys have been kind of rough with the nursing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I need to take a picture. I need to take a picture. But she looks, she uh, doesn't have any mastitis and she, uh, looks pretty good, so... She's hanging in there. She's such a good mama. Aren't you such a good mama? <gasps> Look at Pip on top of the bridge. Did you get stuck to something? Did you? Oh, get it. What are you gonna do now, buddy? 
He got up. Will he be able to get down? Oh, oh my goodness. Biting your sister. She's so much littler than you. <laughs> so ferocious. Hi, Otto. Let's see if Pip can figure out how to get back down now that he's gotten up there. Yeah, so uh, I was at the TNR site and I was, so I did um, quickly assess the kitten that um, had been found. And although I was wearing gloves already, um, there were, you know, all sorts of creepy crawly things. And I just am being paranoid. Um, wearing gloves just just to just because I would hate for these guys to catch something that's we know that there's Kalichi virus now out there and ringworm and whatever this little guy had some um, maggoty things happening but um, I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who has donated in the five dollar challenge um, because this and this is exact this is like a perfect example of why it's so awesome that you guys did that because um it's like the end of the day and laps is completely full and um because I knew that you guys had donated that money I was able to call Mountain View and book an appointment directly and um get this this little guy into the vet immediately um which is really helpful and um, hopefully I haven't heard back yet, so I'm kind of like on the edge of my seat waiting to hear how it went, if he did okay. Um, he seemed like a little fighter, um, but definitely had survived some He'd had a pretty rough day or two, for sure. Um, so, but anyway, um, because of all the, because you guys donated money, um, he was able to go in to see the vet right away. And um, that's why it's so great to have a little bit of, um, a little bit of money on hand for, cause stuff like that happens all the time. And if we don't have the resources for it, then, you know, it's, not a good thing. Right, Rory? Rory agrees. So thank you to everyone who did that. Um, I'm trying to, I asked them to take a photo. So if I, if I can get a photo, um, I'll post it and you guys can see the kitten that you guys were able to help. And, um, Do you hear kitten purrs? Look at your nice VIP close-up of the Eve Bluff. <laughs> oh no, now I've done it. There's Izzy on the couch. Got <laughs> so 
much to coordinate. Uh, and Sue, everybody say a huge, huge thank you to Sue Ham because Sue messaged me last night and said that she wanted to match the amount that everyone donated with a donation of her own. And so she essentially, every dollar that you, that each of you donated became two dollars and actually more because she actually donated more. Um, she made a huge donation of fifteen hundred dollars. So big hail for Sue because Sue, that was amazing. And Sue does amazing rescue things too. She runs a sanctuary and um, does all sorts of amazing things. So Sue Ham is uh, totally our hero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So someone in chat started this $5 challenge thing. I didn't even know anything about it until I checked my email and saw a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of donation emails. Um, and the idea was to show what kind of impact just you know a few a dollar or two dollars or five dollars, how it all adds up to have a big impact, which I thought was so brilliant. And as you can see, it actually did that like it totally did that so everyone who donated you guys um, are awesome and um, thanks to Debbie for coming up for the idea and um, she actually she she um, she actually donated more than more than the amount uh, that came in which is so awesome but um Anyway, so so this little kitten is the first the first little guy to uh, be helped by that money, and um, I think that's amazing. So, and you have no idea how good it feels to be able to be out there in the middle of the woods and have someone bring you a kitten, and um, to actually be able to book a vet appointment right there on the spot. It's pretty awesome. So. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. Um, Pinecone uh, was not there today. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Can Sue name him? Um, I will find out. I'm assuming that the um, ladies who found him have named him, but I don't know for sure. But we should, we should, I should let her name, uh, we should, we, <laughs> all right, so anonymous person who came up with the idea, thank you, and Debbie, thank you for taking it and running with it. Um, it was a little bit over a thousand dollars, um, and 88 people donated. So that's, I think that's amazing. I mean, empirically, it's amazing, so, and it definitely helps, so, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of $5 bills. It'd be cool if I could just fill, fill this whole thing with $5 bills and the kittens could roll around in them. <laughs> oh, hi, Cyrus. What? Otto is burrowing so that he can find a nice place to nurse, a nice quiet place to nurse. This is where we nurse, buddy. Um, so, uh, let's see, um, e-transfer, I don't have set up yet, PayPal is really the only, PayPal or a check, I updated the website, if you go to tinykittens.com slash donate, I updated the website with a couple of options and the mailing address, um, for checks, but, um, uh, hopefully I will be able to get e transfer setup. It's, um, 
because we're in the, the midst of kitten season, um, all these little kitten emergencies end up um, sort of taking precedence over some of the other administrative things that need to be done. Um, I got you, Otto. But um, it, that is definitely on my list to do. Yes. Oh, so cute. They're so cute. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? He's hilarious. Oh, um... Let's see... Yeah, so I am going to visit uh, Sloane next, because I didn't give her very much food for breakfast, because um, I was... I wanted her to eat a deworming pill um, because I can't, there are some things that are safe for nursing moms and other things that aren't, and um, I can't apply anything topically, and I, so I have to, it has to be a pill or something that can mix in the food, and so there's something called Milvamax which gets tapeworms and roundworms and hookworms, and so, um, I put a pill in her food, in her breakfast, and um, she did eat it, which is great. Um, so she... What is he doing? All by himself. So, um, so that's good. So she dewormed herself this morning, and then... Um, Sorry, I'm way behind in the chat. I'm just trying to catch up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, so if Sloney is with the kittens now, I will... Mm, I guess I haven't weighed them today. Look at Otto. He's so silly. Get it, Otto. You're missing dinner, buddy. There's always one kitten that's on a different schedule from everybody else. <laughs> Oh, little mama, you're such a good mama. You're such a good mama. Oh, um... I do, I, I actually haven't seen Sloanie for like two days because she's been out of her nest every time I've gone in. Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing her, how she is. Um, I'm wearing gloves because I was at the colony and there was a sick kitten that I gave a, that I quickly um, checked out and uh, I even though I was wearing gloves there and a disinfected, I'm just um, being super trying to be super careful not to introduce anything um, to these guys that might have survived out there. See, like, because these gloves are really thin, so I don't know if you can see, but there's holes there, and um, kittens have sharp little nails, and so if they pierce this, then, you know. Anyway, so I'm just trying to be super careful, because I really don't want these guys to get sick. Um, I did watch the video of um, Sloane, uh with having, I think it was, she was just in a really deep sleep, um, but I am going to send it to Dr. Ferguson just to get her opinion, um, because it was, I've, I've not seen that before, I'm pretty sure she was just in a deep sleep because she was doing a lot of sleep twitching, um, but, uh, it did look funny, I know that, um, So, but she has not, uh, I have not uh, sent it to her yet. But I will, just to, just to get her opinion. I'm sure that she will say that it looked like a deep sleep. That's what I think it was. I don't think there's anything. I haven't noticed anything 
um, at all to be concerned about with Sloney. Um, and I don't know if it if being dewormed, um, maybe gave her like wor wormy dreams or something. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Otto, what are you doing? I think Otto's having a growth spurt because they will get really round and pudgy and then they will get kind of long and lean. Especially if they play during milk bar time. Go we'll have the milk bar. Go we'll have the milk bar. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> um. There's some toe beans for you. Assorted toe beans. Oh, what else? Um. What else do I have to say? So, yeah, so Laps is completely full of cats and kittens and bottle feeders, and we will need lots of homes. We need to get some of the adults adopted out because um, they're taking up the kitten spaces right now. And when the kittens come back to Laps to get adopted, they're going to need a place to, to stay. So we really need to move some of these lovely adult cats out and into homes. And um, we will also need lots of homes for the, we have more than 100 kittens, which is like five times more than we've ever had before at one time. So it's definitely going to be a challenge to get them all adopted um, quickly. So we will need lots of help with that, um, I'm quite sure. So I think that's about it. I think I'm going to go... You're so cute. Oh, I know. I wish I could... I wish I could interact more. I'm just too nervous that I have a germ on me, a virus. So we did finally get um, some conclusive test results back. It's been kind of a challenge, but um, the upper respiratory infection is Kalichi virus um, that's coming from the colony. So not the end of the world, but um, it's a fairly hardy virus. So again, extra precautions being taken because Sloney has it and the kittens over there have it. Um, just because they all have it over there right now, so in the colony. So anyway, um, extra careful. Look at the Yoda ears. Someone's got Yoda ears, and that someone is Rory. Look at her little Yoda ears. So cute. Yeah, and this is early in kitten season. I know I was worried the kitten roundup didn't work, but clearly it did. We were just early. Uh, yeah. So I'm ass we're we're assuming that Sloney's kittens do have Kalichi. We're assuming that she um, has Kalichi because they all have it. All the kittens we've brought in so far have had it, even when the moms are not symptomatic, the babies have gotten it. So, um, again, it's responding to treatment. All, all the kittens are responding to treatment. They're all doing okay. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's not something that um, we expect to be fatal. Um, although, in some cases, it certainly can be. Um, but... Uh, Sloney's kittens so far, they've got runny noses and a little bit of runny eyes, um, which is totally manageable and to be expected. Um, but I don't want these guys to get it, so I'm trying to be very careful. Incubation period is between two and six days. So, um, so far so good. Sloney's been here, what, two weeks? So... So far, 
everyone over here has remained healthy and so I'm going to continue being super careful. Um, usually it will resolve in 10 to 14 days, it, but it depends on the strength of the immune system. Um, kittens that are that tiny really don't have very strong immune systems, so it can be, um, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and because it's viral, of course, there's not um, much we can do uh, other than provide supportive care and treat any secondary bacterial infections. I'm giving you the Eve, the Eve cam again, just because I'm gonna go. Oh, I see something happened. Sorry, something happened with my amazing duct tape. Hopefully that will be okay of a view when we get back. Oh, Mama! Everyone's eating. Oh, sorry, Lily. Oh, sorry. Yoda. Look at little Yoda. And back to the food. Okay. So I'm going to go... Um, kittens are more susceptible just because their immune systems are not as strong. A healthy adult cat um, is far less likely to get sick. Um, although there's certainly always a risk. Um, all of the, these viruses are opportunistic, so they will, um, if they see an opportunity in a weakened immune system, they will get in there. <laughs> uh. Her ear span is about four inches. Okay, I'm going to go see what Slowly's up to. Um, thank you guys again for your support. Um, I hope that when you see how it's being, how, the, how your donations are being used, um, which makes you feel good, because it should, because you are, you are directly saving lives, which is amazing. So um, thank you for that. Uh, all right, off to Sloney. Mm, I guess I could turn off some of these lights. 